Hi friends, it's Becky, and today I'm going to open and organize the Rainy Day Blues design kit from Softflex Company. And I'm going to organize it into my 15 grid organizers that I love to put my subscription boxes and my design kits inside of. Um, now the Softflex design kits are not a subscription box, but they do release a new design kit every month. They usually release that new design kit at the same time that they reveal the kit that they've been um, selling prior to that. So when this gets revealed and opened up, they will put a different kit up for sale. Um, and then it's usually another month until that one gets revealed. It's usually revealed on the last Wednesday of every month. And I enjoy these so much that I make sure I get one every month because I love the Softflex design kits. There's usually a bead mix from Jesse James Beads. They'll often have a bead strand that you can purchase alongside of there. I actually got these for free because they were running a promotion where you buy some things from their store and you got one of those for free. And I'm trying really hard to untie this twine and it is, it is very well tied here. It's, it's given me some issues where do I have this bead off? I slip it underneath that loop and kind of pull at it. That should help loosen it. There we go. Sometimes you need a tool. But anyway, I really love this, uh, these raindrop strands that they wrapped with the twine. And what do y'all think? Should I try to find a way to incorporate these raindrop strands into one of my designs? Because I bet I could. I bet I could figure out a way to have this be part of what we're making. I'm going to keep this. Kind of wrap it up maybe a little bit like that. And probably just to keep it from like getting everywhere, I'm going to wrap this up here, put that through the loop, and there we go. Now it can be put away somewhere and not get everywhere and get tangled up. All right, so we're gonna open this up. I got two of these strands. I've got the bead kit. And the bead kits are really great because there's usually something challenging in them, but then they also have enough beads and there's even some findings and things for you to be able to create with. In fact, all you need to be able to make like full sets of jewelry with these kits is some tools because they include beading wider as well as some findings. So this is really cool actually. I love this. I love this check glass. All right, we're gonna take the, a look at these. We're gonna get these sorted into here and we've got some cloud charms. This is this is adorable. I love this. They, they hit the theme with this one. That, that is fantastic. So it looks like we've got purples and blues and our metal is this gunmetal color. So you've got some soft flex crimps, which are my favorite crimps to use. I love using these. We've got a little umbrella charm. These are the, the findings and things that we get with it. We have a little copper umbrella, two of them umbrella charms and looks like the umbrella charms have two sides. One is concave and the other one isn't. We have these sort of cut out cloud charms. And then we've got some gunmetal ear wires and a lobster clasp. I like to put my charms and findings right here in the front. That's just where I like to put my guys like that. And it looks like we've got some check glass. We've got a couple of types. We've got these table cut blue check glass coin beads. And then we've got some rondelles that are a swirl 
color with these purple swirls. I'm going to get these two in a couple of spaces. It looks like we've got a bead mix too. Y'all know I love a bead mix. That's pretty rad. Well, we're going to, we've got two bead mixes. So I'm going to, I've got this crystal bead mix and then we've got a rainy day bead mix from Jesse James beads, rainy day blues. And our color of wire that we've got is the tanzanite color. It's a very sky blue kind of a color with a little bit of a purple undertone. It's pretty great for, I mean, it goes with the, the, all of these, this whole color scheme, but these are the check glass beads that I was looking at and just kind of ooing and eyeing. It looks like we've got, let me get a little closer so we can focus. We've got some patterning on them. And the patterning is different on all of these. That is pretty cool, actually. Let me get this strand open and we'll get these beads put away in a spot in here. This is going to be a real great already this is going to be really great to uh, design with and then we've got some long they're not ovals necessarily they're more ellipse shape but they are kind of flat and the actual like glass there they've got it uh, it behaves funny in the light kind of like a little bit um, the way that tiger eye kind of bends the light that's what this does. I don't know what the glass is called. Oh, we, we got a list. Let me go get the list that says what we have in here. We have several of these. Let me, let me get the list. Cause I think, I think that's going to work better. Um, there's usually a little coupon that you can use. I always forget to use the coupon because they usually have such good deals anyway. I don't need it. Um, but yeah, so the reveal date will be, it looks like the reveal date for this one will be in April. Oh, wait, this is the reveal date for this one is March 27th. And then they'll release the next one, the one that will be for, for, um, for the other one. Okay. So we've got, uh, it's a vintage umbrella charms is what we've got. All right, and some of these are items available at Softflex Company launching February 28th, which includes the mix, these dark blue table cut glass ovals. That's these guys here. And then the ridged glass disc, that's these guys. The purple check glass rondelles, that's these. Dark blue AB chrome rectangles. That's the name of that one. And then the blue, dark blue blue crystal mix. This is from Victoria. That is K Goss. That is her shop. And so they got these in here for us, which is going to be really fun. Um, and then we've got these. Which ones are they? Do, 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 do. There we go, the light purple, the three by five millimeter light purple check rondelles. All right, I'm gonna actually take these guys and open them up and stick them in here with these other purple rondelles because sometimes I need a little extra space so we've got to do the buddy system and I'm not gonna know how much space I actually need until I open up and sort all of these bead mixes so I'm going to save this one for after I do the Jesse James ones. But let's open up the Rainy Day Blues bead mix. This is the Jesse James bead mix. And usually they'll have extras of these bead mixes, the JJB ones. And they should probably, if they have extras of these, they'll put those up for sale on the site. So if you have this whole kit and you just want more of those, you can buy more 
Or if the kit is sold out, but they still have more of these, you can still get the bead mix and you sometimes the strand will still be there and you can get the strand or another of the strand. And I'm gonna open this up so that we can start sorting all of these beads. There's a lot of very, very kind of berry blue kind of blues. And there's a lot of other types of blues. We've got dark blues, moody blues, got sky blues. I'm losing my rondelles. That's okay. And then we've got these ginormous diagonally faceted coin beads. They're wavy coin beads and they're just huge. They're gorgeous and beautiful and both of them, will this close with both of them in there? No, it will not. So I'm going to need to set them on their side in here. All right. So that's where we've got that. I'm just getting the, the very large ones out of the way. And then we've got these bead cages that have these little blue crystals inside of them. You can see these crystals moving around when I move this. And that's a very bright blue. Some of these bigger guys need just a little more space. Oh, they don't all fit in my divider. Nope. Wow. Okay. I'm going to put all of you guys together and then maybe I'll stick this guy over here with these two. Maybe. These are also diagonally faceted, but they are, are they a drop shape? I think they're a drop shape or are they oval? They're twisted ovals. Okay, so I'm going to put this here with their dad. You can hang out there with the big guy. And then we've got these really sparkly guys here. And then we've got some purple pave beads or pave. I don't know how they're pronounced. It's fine. You know what I'm talking about. They are all purpley purple. And then we've got these blue guys that have a little bit of fasting around the edges. I think what I want to do with these is put my sparkly blue guys together and then my purpley sparkly guys are going to be separate from there because look at these. These are in the, the bead mix. Look at these crystal roundels. They are super purple and they're going to go in here with this purple guys right there. All right, now we've got some dark blue beads. Let's separate these guys out a little bit. There's some black beads in here too. All right, now these are a different kind of blue. You've got your like really, really warm blue that's almost a purple. It's a very dark, like, Noxima blue. It's these guys here. And then you've got these ones that are more of a uh, peacock blue. These two, three, four, are straddling right in the middle between those. But then we've also got these rondelles with some like sapphire blue color. And I think these are all gonna go together in the same spot. Yep, yep, yep. All right, and then we've got these sparkly guys. I'm not sure where I'll put them. Probably with the other Bindings. I've got a couple of drops here. They are these sparkly blue crystal drops with the blue square in them. 
I'm just gonna stick them in here with my other charms. And we've got some light blue square beads. That I think I'm going to put in here with these. They are lighter blues. I'm gonna put my dark blues over here. I haven't decided where I'm gonna put my black beads, but these are smaller coin beads. They are not wavy, but they do have that diagonal faceting. I love that diagonal faceting. It's one of my favorite things. And then we've got some spacer beads. I'm gonna put this guy there. We've got some bead caps. We've got bead caps both in the bead mix and on the strand, like that. And then we've got these sort of moody blue-gray crystals that were on the strand. And I think they are gonna end up going in here with these guys just so that they've got a place to live in here. And I've got some daisy spacers I'll put over here with these. And then we've got these that are more of a like aqua color with these rondelles as well. I think I'm gonna set them over here. These spacers are gonna go here and let's figure out our bead mix here because there are a bunch of different colors in here and I bet and it looks like there might be some aqua colored beads as well as some purple beads and maybe some gray beads so let's get these all divided out we've got first of all we've got some purely clear crystal with it looks like an AB finish Rios, briolettes. And then we've got some dark blue beads over here. These are dark blue, same blue as these, but they also, it looks like they've got an AB finish on them. That just makes them sparklier. over here purple guy this is a moody purple I think it'll fit in well with these other purples I'll put it there with them all right so I've got these guys separated out and I'm gonna stick them in here with these other blues and I was right we do have some aqua colored beads in here what, what color is that? I don't know if that's aqua. But let's get, let's get these guys separated out because I've already got a spot for my aqua men. They also have an AB finish on them. Okay, I'm gonna stick them right in here with these other aqua ones. We're getting, we're getting them sorted out. I think what I need here for this spot is going to be my clear and white or light gray ones. So I'm gonna put those guys there. And that way I can take these sort of lighter gray beads and put them in there with them. The, the clear crystal ones. I think that's where those are going to go. There we go. Still not sure what to do with these black ones. I may stick them in here with these bright purple guys. Alright, and then we've got 
these kind of moodier gray ones with the AB finish on them. It's like a blue gray, sort of the same color as these guys. So I may put those in there with that section. All right, let's get them all scooped up and set in here. Let's see, they go. Um, you go there, that's where you go. And then we've got our moody purples. And these guys are gonna go right in here with these other purple rondelles, where we've got more of a lilac-y kind of color and we've got this almost, almost maroon, but not quite purple. And then we've got these guys. All right, I have sorted them all out. So happy about that. But yeah, I think I'm gonna figure out a way to include this strand of little bubbly guys in there. I um, might do something with the twine, sometimes I do. And then we've got this, and where are my, there we go. Yeah, so there we go. It is the rainy day design challenge kit from Softflex Company. I'll put a link to their site below. And if they're sold out with the rainy day kit, they probably will still have the um, extras for maybe the strand unless it's sold out, but um, very definitely probably the uh, bead mix. Anyway, I will talk to you later. Happy beading. Bye.